How's everybody doing? This is the comic book shop of doom, and this is your nightly news for Sunday, May 10th, 2020. We have a death in the wrestling business. Women's wrestler Winona Littlehart passed away. Her real name was Winona Barkley. She was trained by the fabulous Moolah, and she worked for her from 1977 to 1985. They believe she's about 64 years old. She also worked for David McLean's POW, Powerful Women of Wrestling. So condolences to her and her um, family. The money in the bank was tonight, WWE. And the results are Jeff Hardy beat Cesaro in a fatal four-way SmackDown tag match, the New Day beat the Lucha House Party, Miz and Morrison, and the Forgotten Sons. R-Truth was supposed to wrestle MVP, but then it turned into a screw job where R-Truth lost to Bobby Lashley. Bailey beats Tamina Snuka to keep the SmackDown women's title. Universal champion Braun Strowman defeats Bray Wyatt to keep the Universal title. WWE champ Drew McIntyre defeats Seth Rollins to keep the WWE championship. Then in the Money in the Bank matches, filmed at Titan Towers, the WWE's exclusive headquarters. The women's match, Asuka defeated Shane Brasler, Nia Jax, Carmella, Dana Brooke, and Lacey Evans to win the women's Money in the Bank briefcase. And in the men's Money in the Bank briefcase, Otis defeated AJ Styles, Daniel Bryan, King Corbin, Aleister Black, and Rey Mysterio to win the men's Money in the Bank briefcases. King Corbin threw Aleister Black and Rey Mysterio off of the roof. So that was the big shocker. And then AJ Styles had the briefcase in his hands, and he dropped it when he was on the ladder, and Otis caught it. So then that was the big surprise. Otis is going to be the... He's going to have the next money in the bank. Okay, this Tuesday, DC Comics shipping for May 12th. There's five books. Harley Quinn, number 72. Justice League, number 44. Justice League Odyssey, number 20. Lois Lane, number 10 of 12. So it's a limited series. And then Metal Men, number 6 of 12. That's another limited series. Alberto Del Rio arrested for sexual assault in San Antonio. This is pretty bad. He was forcing some lady to dance and have her put on a dress. And he told her, she said she didn't want to do it. And he told her that if he didn't do it, he was going to take her four-year-old kid and dump him off in the middle of a road. So he got arrested. Bail was five grand. So that that's a lot. So who knows if it's a he said, she said thing. We will find out. Uh, the Titans universe on DC Universe. So the Teen Titans show. This is called Titans. They're talking about having spinoffs. Now here's the thing. DC Universe might not be around for long. They're talking. There's rumors it may merge back into HBO Max. So that's supposed to start at the end of the month. May 27th. HBO Max. So DC Universe may not be around. So they might just pump all those DC shows on the DC um, onto the DC thing, HBO Max, and just have their own section on there. Then the final little rumor tonight is there's a rumor going around that Netflix may buy Viacom CBS. So that's a lot of money. So they would own CBS, Paramount Pictures. They would get the Star Trek franchise, SpongeBob SquarePants, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. There's a lot of properties there. The Paramount Pictures Library, uh, just, just a lot of stuff. So that's a rumor, so we'll see where this goes. All right, that's your nightly news report for Sunday night, May 10th, 2020. Have a good night.